will be spending time on the East Coast as I have the privilege of speaking and praying with Pastor Andrew Maves and Pastor Balan and his wife Joy Swaminathan, all from joining us today from Nova Scotia. Welcome. Well, it is really my privilege now to have some guests who are going to pray with us for our great nation. We have with us Andrew Maves, who's the pastor at Digby Wesleyan Church in Southwest Nova Scotia, and Pastor Balan and Joy, who are pastoring at the House of Intercessory Prayer Ministries in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And so as we're praying, we want to encourage you to pray with us. And so, Andrew, what's, what's a, bur a burden on your heart right now as we pray? Well, certainly for us in our neck of the woods, uh, I feel that uh, there's been a lot of brokenhearted. Mm. And I think the pandemic coming on to the year anniversary of the shooting here in Nova Scotia, we're just finding that a lot of people uh, haven't known how to deal with their grief. And so that's been uh, something that's been on my heart, just reaching out uh, to community uh, members who are feeling lost and seeking direction and praying for that brokenhearted. Mm. That's, that's, that's so true. And how about you, Pastor Balan? Um, I would really like to uh, pray for uh, the businesses and the opportunities that uh, uh, should keep coming in Nova Scotia so that, you know, more people will stay in Nova Scotia. And I also would like to pray for the, our leaders. I mean, that's what is kind of, you know, burning in my heart right now. I love that. And, and Joy, how about for you? Yeah, I, God has given the burden about uh, the churches, leaders, and the youth uh, coming generation uh, should be on fire, uh, praying for revival. Uh, God is doing great things in our province. So, yeah. Amen. Well, let's pray. And, and if you're watching, why don't you join with us in prayer? Andrew, why don't you lead us? Sure. Lord, we just want to say thank you for this amazing opportunity to join together and to yes. uh, pray for our great nation and to pray for our province. And Lord, to pray for those individuals and families that all these prayers represent. Um, Lord, we think especially of the victims who have lost so much, and we ask that you would be close to the brokenhearted and that you would be that strong tower and shelter that we could run to. And Lord, even some of the province and the leaders and the RCMP of all the criticism that has been coming their way, Lord, we know that they do the best they can to protect and serve, and we pray for a healing uh, upon our, our province and upon um, all of those institutions. And so, um, Lord, just be with us in this pandemic. It's been hard, it's been long, and yet you've been faithful and you've been seen throughout it. And we know that you are going to uh, never leave us or forsake us. And I pray that your presence would be known in deeper and real ways. It would be known and that the bride would rise to the occasion and uh, be all that, that we can be for you and to let our light shine and to be that salt to the earth, Lord. Amen, amen, yes, amen. And Pastor Balan, would you pray for us today? Uh, Father God, we uh, just uh, come into your presence right now, O oh God. Mm. Lord, with the desire of knowing that, O oh God, you are a mighty God over yes. Canada. Right now, Father mm. God, we just uh, pray for uh, uh, Nova Scotia. And Father God, we just thought that we just came out of the pandemic, but uh, we are still in it. But Lord, we know that there are more business opportunities that are going to open in the coming days. Uh, we ask you that, Lord, you would uh, give us good days, Lord God. We just yes. expect the great days ahead of us, so Father God. We pray for every business organization, oh God. We just pray for every commercial outlet, so Father God. We just ask you that, Lord, you would open more doors for us, Lord God, so that, Lord, the business will flourish in Nova Scotia. We also ask you that, oh God, Lord, many more corporates, Lord, should come to Nova Scotia so there will be more job opportunities, Lord. More yes. students come to our province, but, Lord, they don't get to stay here. Mm -hmm. Father, we ask you that, Lord, you would open more opportunities over here. We also pray for the um, uh, leaders right now. We just pray for our Premier, yes. Ian Rankin. We just ask you that you will bless him. We pray for all our MPs and MLAs and the municipal councillors, all the government officials. We also pray for the department heads, uh, the judicial system, the military, uh, RCMP, the paramedics. Lord, especially we pray for our chief medical officer, Dr. Robert Strang. We ask you that you would give him wisdom to lead our province and our nation, Lord, in the right way. 
We also pray for all our health workers, healthcare workers, and we ask you that you would protect them and you would give them strength and grace during this time of pandemic. We pray for all senior homes, Lord. We pray for all schools and universities. Father, we just ask for your protection and your divine protection over our province. We yes, expect Jesus. great things to happen in the coming days, Lord God, in our yes, province, so Father. We believe that we are going to come out of this pandemic so quickly, and Lord God, we mm -hmm. expect great days, Lord God, as we Amen. move forward yes. towards our summer here in Canada. In Jesus' mighty name. Hmm. Yes, in Jesus' name. And Joy, would you lead us, please? Loving Heavenly Father, thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful time, Lord of our Father. Yes. Lord Jesus, mighty God, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. Right now, we submit every one of us in your mighty hand above Father. Lord Jesus, we are praying for our churches in Nova Scotia, Lord. Above Father, Almighty God, we pray for a revival in all the churches, Lord. All the believers' lives, Lord. All the families, Lord, should be revived, Lord. Yes. We pray for forgiveness in the churches, mm. Lord. We pray for repentance in the churches, yes. Lord. We pray for humbleness in everyone's life, Lord, above Father. Mighty God, we pray for all the pastors, Lord. We pray for all the leaders, all, all the young generation above Father. Mighty God, revive every heart. We revive every soul. Above Father, we give everyone in your mighty hand. Lord, let their hearts be revived. Lord, you pour your anointing upon everyone in these last days, Lord. Above Father, Lord, Jesus, mighty God, all our children and youth have encounters with you, mighty God. Mm -hmm. Lord, right now we pray for uh, all, all of our um, immigrants, Lord. Jesus, yes. many people are moving from other nations to Canada, towards Nova Scotia, all the universities, Lord. Above Father, you touch each and every students, Lord, those who are coming here, mighty God. Yes, Lord Jesus, Jesus, our Father, open their eyes to see the light, mm. Lord, mighty God. Lord Jesus, our Father, they should not be addicted to any of the sinful things, Lord. Mm. Above Father, Lord Jesus, mighty God, Lord, pour your anointing upon every youth, almighty God. Mm. Lord, speak yes, to Jesus. everyone, Lord Jesus. Mm. Lord Jesus, our Father, Lord, there is a revival mm. at the last days, Lord. We we want to see the move of the Holy Spirit. Your mighty hand be upon everyone, Lord. In your presence, there is deliverance. Amen. In your Amen. presence, there is a peace, Lord, above Father. Let your love, Lord Jesus, be upon everyone. Amen. Above Father, we give the churches in your mighty hand. Revive the churches with your love. Above Father, let your peace, love, and joy fill every heart of the families. We give you glory, Amen. honor, and praise to you. Thanks Amen. for listening yes. to our prayer. In Jesus' name, we Pray. Amen. Amen. And we join our hearts for that great province. Thank you, Father, that you reign from sea to shining sea. God, thank you so much that this is your land. And so I come into agreement with uh, my brothers and sister today that, that there would be great revival and renewal in that province, uh, whether it's economic or financial, spiritual, God, that you would do what only you can do. Thank you, God, that you see us wherever we're at and you answer us when we pray. And so we thank you for this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And if you'd like to join us in prayer or we could pray for you, please call us today at one 855 and we'd love to pray specifically for you today.